and I'll just try to do my job. I'm not trying to make anybody else play. What's happening fam how y'all doing today i hope everybody's blessed so i'm on my way back up north I'm trying to get north done before all this snow comes in but i'm ready if i have to chain it doesn't make me any difference but woo we the cost of this diesel is getting out of control i might have to start doing a little bit out of time like I seen this one TikTok brother do because I don't know why these prices is going up is that because of uh you Democrats <laughs> I ain't about to get all political <laughs> I'm not about to get political but I don't know what's going on it's weird so I'm gonna save as much money as I can for this wild storm hit and uh, you know we'll see what's next but one thing I will say is that don't let fear keep you broke. God has been providing for me even before I became a trucker. So I expect him to provide for me after. Because that's who my faith is in. And that's who your faith should be in too. Because people know how to promote fear, don't they? But um, I have no fear. There was one story in the Bible was Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And the king had passed a decree that they were supposed to bow down to him and, and check it out. They didn't, so they had to end up getting thrown in this big furnace. I think it's in Daniel. You have to look in the book of Daniel. And uh, so, but God sent an angel in there and delivered these men out the fire. Even the people that threw them in the fire uh, were killed. So... This one thing I gotta say, just trust the Lord, y'all. Don't, you know, this world, it's on its way out of here because it's a lot of evil. We don't even respect, we don't respect nothing anymore. We just doing all kind of stuff that's against that Bible. So I call it a plague. Why you think a plague ain't gonna happen? But I'm not trying to down anybody. And uh, I'm not trying to convert people over to what I believe in. But I just will say this. Um, respect the drivers out here because we bring these supplies. And if we ever could unify, the world would be in trouble. Because all it takes for us to say, you know what? You're not going to let me use your bathroom. You're not going to let me... Uh, you're going to take all day to unload me. You're going to do this and that. And then we just all stop. I guarantee you. They'll get some act right then. Remember when they shut down. Because uh, of this COVID. The world was shut down. Look how nice people was coming back. And saying hey welcome. But now everybody seems like they're getting that attitude again. Because they forgot that. It's the people who makes the world go around so if the people say that's enough you're gonna go out of business that's all i gotta say mountain for president on this round <laughs> you wouldn't want to make me president because first of all uh, truckers could there's no restriction on truckers truckers could park anywhere they want to <laughs> and truckers you know what i'm saying get paid a, a triple increase you will respect the trucker you know, and so, I don't know. It's all good. 
But y'all stay strong. God bless. Mountain.